Hi, I'm Max Sansaloni. Welcome to this lesson. In today's lesson, I want to talk about bass drum technique. Uh, I got a lot of questions about what technique I use on the bass drum. So here it is. So the technique I use is pretty straightforward. Uh, one thing I do is I don't uh, dig the beater into the head like this. I let the beater come off the head. This for two reasons. One of them is sound. And uh, I find when the beater comes off the head, it, this low end opens up. A little bit of low, more low end opens up in the bass drum. I don't know if you'll be if you'll be able to hear it on the recording. But I really hear it in the room here. And uh another reason is uh just it I for me I feel more relaxed coming off the head because I rest my foot right after I play it. My heel comes down as opposed to you know, using muscles to keep the beater pressed into the head. And it doesn't mean that you have to play like this, because there's a lot of uh, amazing players who dig the beater into the head. Just for me, I feel more comfortable playing like this. And it wasn't easy at the beginning. It was uncomfortable to get to play like this. Uh, but right at this point, where it's very, very comfortable and I feel more relaxed when I play. So I really worked on just letting the beater come off the head and getting a really clean sound. And the way I do it, if I show it in slow motion, is I use the ball of my foot for the attack, for the first stroke, and then I just let my heel fall down. But when I'm playing, it's really, I'm doing this really, really fast. It's almost like the heel comes down instantaneously right after I hit it. Very, very little space between the two. And I just, another thing I just want to say is, I like to play the pedal like not too far forward and not too far back here just at a point where it just feel com it feels comfortable. You don't have to push the pedal down too far. Like if you play up here, the pedal goes down further. So it's like a kind of wasted time. And down here, you almost don't have to press the pedal. It's very little, but y you really lose speed and control. So I play about three quarters up the pedal. But just find that spot where it feels comfortable to you. Okay, another thing that I get uh, a lot of questions on is doubles. And the technique I use to play fast doubles is a sliding technique. And I'm sure that you've seen this before. The way I do it is the first stroke, I, I start further down on the pedal using more the toes on my foot. And then I just slide the foot forward a bit using more the ball. And I think just this just happens naturally. I just twist my foot just a little bit on this side when I'm going faster. I don't know if that's good or bad, but <laughs> that's just what I do. And for playing, uh, let's say, three notes or four notes, what I'll do is the same sliding technique, but I'll just stay, let's say, if I'm doing three notes, I'll stay down for two and I'll slide the third. And if I'm doing four, the same thing. I'll stay for three, and I'll slide for the fourth. Again, I don't know if this is the best technique, but this is just naturally what uh, I felt, you know, felt right to me.
So I hope you got something out of this lesson. And sorry that you had to be watching my foot for the whole lesson while I was talking. Uh, it's just sometimes I don't have a lot of time to record some lessons, so setting up two cameras takes a bit more time. So that's it. I'll see you next time. Take care.